All right, working on some legs today uh, to maintain and, and even build upon my cycling strength before uh, I really crank up some of my training in preparation for races this season and any season. This is just a half rack that I got at the local sporting goods store. And the, the bar is only 45 pounds. And my demonstration today is gonna be one, uh, one leg lunges. It's so important to have strong and uh, flexible legs for cycling. You don't wanna get bunched up in the hip flexors and fatigue your legs prematurely. So by doing one-legged lunges like this, I'm able to work on my flexibility, overall fle uh, strength of my legs and hamstrings while maintaining and building core strength because I'm gonna have to hold my core to keep the bar uh, solid and also my balance good. So if I'm gonna lean, step forward one leg at a time, heel, then, then toe, with my toe over, my knee over my toe, here's how I'm gonna work on my one-legged lunges. And you can use these with dumbbells too. I'm just using a, a bar here for an example. Now when I'm coming down, you can see my knee is directly over my toe and I'm feeling the flex and stretch here on the front part of my, my quad and my hip flexor. But at the same time, when I'm pressing back up, I'm using the quad and hamstring as well as the glutes of the other leg. So stepping forward with my left leg, I'm feeling it here on the inside of my right leg. When I come down and come back up, now I'm getting the strength in the quad here, pressing back up with the glute. Now there is a variation you can do one leg at a time, get in your position, coming down and then back, back up. And this is a more of an isolation move for your leg like this. So let the back leg is more of a balance and stability leg, whereas the power and strength and balance is coming from the front leg. Let's say I do 10 like that and I swap while maintaining good posture and that's where the core strength comes into play, holding your body uh, upward, upright. And now you're even, if you can see this from this point of view, I'm even stretching here the, the front part of my opposite leg while giving the strength and push off on my right leg in this case. What's a good idea to do, I think for me, and maybe you can incorporate this too, is take the workout and then jump on your bike. You're gonna flesh out some of the buildup and tightness that you just did, all that blood flushing through and going to the muscles. Spin it out, similar to what basketball players do, which I did in high school, where you would go to the weight room, lift weights, then go back out to the basketball court and shoot your baskets. So you're working on muscle memory, but you're also avoiding the fatigue or working with fatigue and becoming better and focused at what you're doing. You can go vice versa. But you know, when you're after you lift some weights, you try to move your arms, they're tired. But if you can get used to that fatigue and fight through it and stay focused, you can become a better shooter that way. Similar, I think, to lifting then doing cardio or doing cardio going to lifting. But at the end, I always like to walk it out in some way. So I don't just uh, sit and let everything just swell up, all the blood flowing, the water flowing to my legs. If I can do the weights first, then go over into a cardio movement cycling specific in this case, or maybe just get on uh, a treadmill, put it on an incline and go for a walk at a three and a half to four um, pace, but put it on an incline. So anyways, that's what I kind of do sometimes uh, to work on the overall strength, flexibility, dexterity, and to avoid fatigue. If I do the pre-fatigue, then I get on the bike, then the bike isn't as fatigued or my, bo my body gets used to it. So when it is just a straight out bike ride or a race on the bike, my legs are conditioned to deal with the potential soreness and uh, overuse on the day. Hope that makes sense. Hey, if you're into your season, you're looking to build on your cycling fitness, check out some of the links below, whether you're getting ready for a sprint, Olympic, half Ironman or a full Ironman, or just looking for some real focused 
cycling workouts. A lot of links in the description below that are linked to our Train Peaks page. All right, that's all I got. Have a great workout. Make it count. Adios. Yeah.